this is Dr. Kilgore from Dr. Kilgore's World, bringing you a flipped video tonight. Our learning goal is I can use keywords to write expressions. The guiding question tonight is how do I write expressions from word problems? So let's look at our vocabulary here. I want you to know that there is a difference between an expression and an equation. An expression is a mathematical phrase that combines numbers or variables using mathematical operations. So the only thing you're going to see in an expression are numbers, um, operation signs like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and sometimes variables that are letters. An equation is different because it is a number sentence that uses an equal sign to show that expressions have the same value. So an equation will have an equal sign in it, an expression will oftentimes not. So let's look at our strategies for writing expression success. First, you're going to read the word problem or stem that you are given. Reread the word problem or stem. Know and circle your keywords to help you choose the operation, and then start putting numbers and signs together. Check to see if you need parentheses, and then double check, of course, again. So let's look at some of those keywords in these expressions. Okay, so let's look at a few practice problems here. Here's our first one. We have six increased by the quotient of 12 and 2. So we talked about our definition of an expression, which is a number sentence without an equal sign, and an equation, which is a number sentence with an equal sign and often solved. So we start looking at our phrase up here, and we want to start putting together some things that we know. We've got a six. Oftentimes we're going to write that six out for the expression increased by. We think, what do those words, what are the keywords, what operation? Increased by often stands for addition. So we'll do a plus sign here. The quotient, quotient is a division word of 12 and 2. So that means I'm going to take 12 and divide it by 2. Order of operations would make this work out just fine, but just for clarity, we're going to put parentheses around the 12 and the 2 because we need to do that quotient before we increase it by 6. So our expression looks like this. When we write an equation, it's going to be the same thing the only difference is we add an equal sign. And then we start working this with the order of operations. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. We copy down the rest. And 6 plus 6 equals 12. So let me set up for another problem here and we'll work it together. Okay, so here is another example that we're going to work on. And we want to think about the difference of 12 and 6 added to 4. So we have to start with our expression here. The difference of means subtraction. 12 and 6 means 12 comes first. Subtract 6. Added to 4. Add 4. In this case, we want to put the parentheses around the 12 and the 6 because that step has to be done first. So we come over here and we start with our expression. 
We put an equal sign to make it an equation, and then we start our work. 12 minus 6 is done first because it's in parentheses. We copy down the rest of the problem, and 6 plus 4 equals 10. Okay, so here is our last practice problem today. We have triple the product of 8 and 2. So again, we're going to decipher what those words mean. Triple would be times 3. So, or 3 times, you could do it either way. The product of 8 and 2. Product means multiply, so we're going to multiply 8 times 2. Now this is pretty significant because it says triple the product. The product means the answer of a multiplication product or problem. So in this case, if we don't put our parentheses in, this expression would be incorrect. And I also look at this, I've got 3 times 8 times 2. This could also be written without the multiplication sign on the outside of the parentheses. Because anytime you have a number next to parentheses, it automatically means to multiply. So let's move over here to our equation side. We should have 3 times 8 times 2 equals, because it's an equation, 8 times 2 is 16. We keep the 3 on the outside, and we've got to do some scratch paper work over here. 8, 1, 4. So our answer would be 48. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Okay, so I just wanted to remind you of our keywords list. This will be really important in helping you decipher these expressions and from the phrases that are written. Um, make sure that you're looking for these words and you always have to double check because just because it says of doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be multiplication. Most times it will be, but it may just be a word that was put in the phrase. So let's think about being prepared for class tomorrow. You should have your notes completely filled out from this video, including all of the vocabulary and the practice problems you worked with me and make sure that you are ready to give these a try in class. See me if you need a mini lesson. Um, other than that, good luck on your practice work.